That's going to show whenever, now we're going to recognize whenever it's aromatic, these diamonds are going to be black and brown. It's really hard to see because they draw the one with the circle in it, but then when you got one next to it, like the naphthalenes, it's really confusing. When we look, we know black and brown, it's aromatic. Being aromatic adds that like third power to it, the tertiary kind of structure that they call it in protein chemistry. So you got this concept where things are bonding. Everything's, you know, going along. This bonds out, that bonds out. But then it gets this aromatic character that adds stability to it. whole bunch of other properties to the molecule. So look at that. No no burgundy. These are solid green. Come down here, solid green. Draw aliens in there if you want. And then we got the blue. That's your yellow food dye, yellow food coloring. It's probably going to split up there, huh? Draw the aliens in. That's that azo. Double down in and there. Get some uh, green in this. Is just like an alcohol, except the sodium will fall off a lot easier than a proton would. So you can almost bet that's going to right away. As soon as you're in an aqueous water loving solution, lots of electronegativity. See how these aliens really come in powerful down there? Green down in. Go. Pretty complicated molecule, but look at the Schroeder diamond technique makes it child's play. What's Ocho Cinco say? Child uh, holding the baby or something. 